Springfield Armory 5.25 competition model 45. Let's compete. Nice, nice. Sweet. Hey, I have some more ammo. 45 caliber. Let's go gonging. <laughs> I felt the, the gong has uh, been neglected lately, maybe. Needed a few extra rounds. Oh, I see those big 45 hits on him. Cool, cool, cool. One more here. <laughs> oh, missed. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, Hickok 45. Again, shooting more than I probably should. But, you know, someone has to do it. And, you know, we haven't had a Springfield Armory out for a while. I don't know why. These things uh, are gathering a little uh, dust and uh, cobwebs. I had to clean the cobwebs out of the barrel. So I dug back into the safe. And I realized, whoa, forgot about the 525. Got this thing in 9 millimeter. I've got it in 45. Haven't been shooting it enough. So, got some ammo. And we're going to do it. Chapter 2 with the XDM 45 ACP 5.25. It is a sweet gun. It was sweet when I uh, tested it, <laughs> quote unquote, t and eat it. And uh, as you longtime followers know, I purchased it, kept it, sent the check, not the gun, back to Springfield, because I like it, you know? It is just a nice, nice gun. Lots of uh, purposes maybe for that competition. Uh, a good bedside gun. It's got that nice front sight, easy to pick up on. And I acquired some uh, 185 grain 45. I normally shoot 100 and 230 grain. That's just all I ever shoot. I ordered some of this. I don't know if it was my mistake or where I ordered it. If they messed up or whatever. I, I don't know. I, I probably just clicked on the wrong one. Ended up with a few boxes of this. So I thought I'd just shoot it in this gun. And uh, came out here. Since it has adjustable rear sight, I thought, well, that, well, that'll be fine. It may have a different point of impact. I can just drew the side up or down. And uh, it seems like it's she's right on though, so I'm not gonna mess with the sights. Uh, I took a couple shots before we started and I, I couldn't, uh, I didn't, I'll go ahead and load these mags while I'm gabbing at you. I didn't notice any difference, so there we go. Chapter two, we're just gonna shoot and uh, have some fun. I don't know when we had just a big shoot 'em up chapter two the last time where we, uh, I don't know, just threw a lot of, a lot of rounds out there and of course these rounds are expensive and hard to come by but we're gonna go ahead and do it today every now and then we're gonna go ahead and turn it loose we'll find ammo somewhere 45 is a little easier to find it's not quite as impossible as 9 millimeter here in the early days of February so uh, we'll catch it somewhere I'm glad when the ammo manufacturers catch up to the demand, won't you? Okay, I love it that so many people are getting into shooting. That's all wonderful. Okay, I have five magazines for this thing. Wow, I couldn't find my holster. All my Springfield stuff is buried somewhere, so I've got my old standard uh, <laughs> leather holster out. And, uh, am I just in a magazine somewhere? Oh, there it is. No, that's all right. I'll load it later. Okay, so this is my do all holster. Oh boy, this gun, uh, it's fun to shoot. I have to tell y'all, it is fun. Uh, chamber, loaded chamber indicator there. You know, adjustable rear sights. You know, it's just a sweet gun. Got the cut out there so you don't have too much weight on this long slide. And uh, pretty nice gun, nice trigger. Got talon grips on it. And it's got the rails that I'm not using for anything. I was thinking about putting a heater or a coffee maker on there, but uh, we'll see. All right. You know, I haven't uh, been hunting for a while. Let's just hunt a little bit. You know what? I think it's a good day at a turkey hunt. Yeah, 
any day is a good day to turkey hunt. Let's hunt some rams too already. Why'd I do that? Okay. <laughs> that guy doesn't want to fall, does he? We may have to run over and kick him over. Let's see, I'll put one on the head, slow down, and actually aim, and see if that'll do it. Oh, there he went. <laughs> there he went. Let's try some more pigs. <laughs> oh, this thing is unreal. You might need a class three license to buy one of these. I think that would be appropriate. Let's go to the holster here. Okay, not my speed rig, of course. Oh, look at the two liters here. Wow, I'll be darned. I wonder where those came from. Well, it's a competition model, so uh, let's draw. <laughs> oh, a tree. <laughs> hey, 45 knocks those things around, doesn't it? Oh boy, cool, cool. Let's take it apart real quick while it's hot. Y'all remember how these work? You lock back the XEM, we'll lift that up. Turn that up and there it is. Nothing too unusual. You know, I'll take it all apart. It's all kind of warm, tell you the truth. Oh, I forgot about this. That log spring. Uh, there we go. Nice and dirty. I just had to do that, didn't I? <laughs> take it apart. Oh well, but you might want to see it again. That's a neat thing about these modern. Let's shoot a little bit more. You know, I don't know if I've had enough shooting yet. Uh, these modern firearms, like like that or the Glock and the SIG and you know, m and P's and all these are uh, quite innovative. Of course they've been around a while. Uh, it's not like they all came out last year. But uh, breaking one of these down and cleaning it, it's uh, a little different from even a 1911 and uh, I guess a number of other older uh, firearms. Just so simple to, to field strip. So, so simple. And uh, that's another reason there's no excuse for not cleaning them every time you shoot them. I still think that that is part of the reason some people have trouble with firearms that other people have no trouble with. Sometimes I just think they, uh, they're trying to push the, the envelope a little too much. It is true that with these modern firearms, you, you can go without cleaning them for quite a ways. But, you know, it's like, why? Why do that? Uh, you never know, especially when you're buying ammo as inexpensively as you possibly can. Uh, you get some little imperfection in, in ammo. Uh, maybe a round's not loaded quite as uh, warm as, it, as the others in the box. Or the crimp wasn't quite as good, or whatever it might be. Uh, you know, then malfunction time arrives, perhaps. Not a big deal if you're on the range, I guess. Just uh, annoying, perhaps. But I just like to keep them clean, and I really enjoy the fact that they're so simple to take apart and do that. But there's four mags. We might as well load the fifth one. I know y'all want to see more bullets fly. This is a good feeling gun. I'll tell you, you just uh, feel like you can hit anything with it. And as usual, the problem I have is slowing down. Uh, as I have demonstrated many times, uh, shoot too fast, and you can miss anything. You just uh, get away from uh, acquiring that good sight picture, nice trigger break. Bad things happen, like misses, right? So, well, what happened to all my animals? The wind blew them down. Oh boy, fun, fun. <laughs> Not everything left to shoot. Why'd I load all those magazines? <laughs> uh, we'll find something here. All right.
Well, let's just see whatever we see here. No trouble going through magazines, is it? I'm not sure I can miss with this thing. It's kind of hard. Oh, I just remembered there's a cinder block over there John set up, or a piece of one. Yeah, I can miss that, I'm sure. Well, I see the heat coming off that barrel. All right. It's a little tack driver. Let's try that red rifle plate. Okay. Okay, got to get up on it. There's a little bit of bullet drop over there. Let's try the gong some more. <laughs> Wait, I think I have one more magazine. Yes, let's just machine gun him out here somewhere. Oh, right. Uh oh, I think that propane tank has not been hit enough. I don't know if I hit it very much, but anyway, that was fun. Uh, it's been a while since we've done that. Uh, just cut it loose. Forget the ammo. Forget the ammo shortage and just shoot. So, the uh, Springfield Armory 5.25 Chapter 2. Uh, need I say more? These things are a lot of fun. Many of you have one in some caliber or another. They're available in 9, 40, and 45. I think that's all. And uh, they're really good shooters, and uh, they feel good in the hand, uh, really uh, reliable. I don't recall any malfunctions with this one ever. So uh, do I have to tell you, life is good.